Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox, uh, the, the second one, but it's not called Universe Sandbox 2 anymore, so just so you know. Today we're going to be looking at a few things that were added to the game. First off, I don't know if it was this update or the last one, but they have done so much work on the UI, it's actually beautiful. All the controls, everything just looks absolutely fantastic. We can even disable being able to see each part of the uh, planet's uh, aesthetic, <laughs> and uh, th this isn't what you care about. You want to see me destroy things. So today, uh, I just wanted to look at, they added these things where you can change how specific bodies interact with the physics simulation. So before we could get a little bit cheaty by, you know, setting the mass of Earth to negative, but now we actually have a button which is not quite as... Uh, hacky to just inverse gravity. We can just hit it and it happens. But similarly, there are things like the ability to disable things pulling each other and being pulled by others, which is a really interesting concept because I already can think of a lot of things we can do with this. For example, normally it would be very hard to get more than one sun. Uh, because two suns we can make a binary system, uh, which is challenging, but three and it just gets insane. But using this, we can put four suns down, and all we have to do is click on each one, and check pulled by others off, and now they won't be able to pull each other, which means that we can actually have a stable solar system with four suns. Okay, well I guess uh, that was a bad example because I must have messed up there somewhere. Did, which one? <laughs> okay, let's try it again! Let's, oh, oh, no, 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 you also have to cancel out their velocity because for some reason they start with velocity. I, I, I really don't know why. Maybe because it adds it because it's close? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so pulled by others off, and then we have to turn off the, uh, here it is, speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all laughing at me right now because that was a horrible, a horrible, <laughs> horrible demonstration. Literally did the exact opposite of what it was supposed to. But they didn't crash into each other, so maybe not the exact opposite. It just went poorly. It's okay, no worries. Okay, do we have them all disabled now? Off, 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 and they all have their speed at zero. And if that's true, if we hit play, look! There's four suns! Granted, they're not orbiting each other, but it's allowing us to do this, and we get some neat effects from this. Like, for example, the amount of light output it is just absolutely insane. Look at how bright the, the surface of Earth is just insanely bright. It's just blinding white. I mean, it's also melting and hitting insane temperatures. Would you be able to survive? Maybe if you're in a bunker at the bottom of the ocean, you might have a chance. Although I don't think the ocean's going to last very long at 300 degrees Celsius. I think that might be pushing it a little bit too far, guys. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below where you'd put your bunker for this situation. I know where I'd put mine. I'd, I'd, I'd put mine in Belgium. Because if there's the apocalypse, at least I'll have waffles. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do a few more tests. I mean, this is interesting. Um, very interesting, the powers we have been handed. Uh, what about if we shot a black hole? Ooh, let's do something interesting. Truly interesting. Let's get a big black hole. Let's launch it at the sun. But we're going to ensure it never hits the sun. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to have this black hole move at the speed of light. Which is quite fast if you weren't aware. And we're going to have it have inverse gravity. So it's going to push things away from it, uh, not pull things towards it. And since it's such a massive black hole, it's going to do so pretty strong. So as it goes towards the sun, the sun should get accelerated away from it. And that 
should be interesting because will it actually collide or will it push the sun away enough that the sun escapes? I'm, I'm not actually sure. So we can see the comparative speed between the two, which went down by a tiny bit. Now it's at 0 0.999 light speed, but that's still quite fast that the black hole is coming in here. Seven, six, oh, there, there's no way on Earth. There's no way that the sun is going to escape this. Although it has lost like 1% of the speed in comparison, and because of how gravity works, the closer they are to each other, the effect is much greater, so... um, I mean, it's gotten 10%. 10%! No, it's gonna catch up. There's no escape. 20%! Oh my god, actually, perhaps... Wait, what? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was gonna say that was weird. Okay, so the black hole has eaten the sun. It's kind of sad, I wasn't sure if that was going to happen. But it also passed by all of the planets and pushed them in the opposite direction of itself. So we get a really neat design, kind of like a gear with all the planets going out. You see that gear shape from their trails, very nice. Huge fan. Uh, let's try this again and see if we can do it without destroying the sun. I want, I want the sun to just be like, repelled. Is that even possible? Mathematically, because if we start further away, hmm, I'm trying to think about this, like, does it even matter? Because if it's further away, the effect is going to be way smaller. But uh, perhaps the amount of time will make a difference. I don't know. I don't know if it'll actually make enough of a difference. All right. Although I guess the distance uh, accentuates it in a way, because there's even if it drops by 1%, it's 1% dropped for that massive distance. So who knows? <laughs> that That's the answer of the day. We, we have no clue. All right, let's see what happens. Oh shoot, I forgot to um, set the speed to one light speed. Okay, well that went fast. It is the speed of light, so that shouldn't be too surprising. Alright, let's see if it actually accelerates the sun at all, uh, additionally from last time. No, it's still at one light speed. Yeah, I think, I think accelerating something to one light speed using gravity is just too, too far-fetched, unfortunately. Um, because the gravity just takes too long. Too long! I mean, we definitely have a little bit of an advantage over last time, but I do not see this going well. We haven't even gotten within 10% of the speed we need. Oh, I think it did worse. Maybe? Oh, it missed! Oh, look at that. It missed and it just shoved the sun in the other direction. It's causing everything to do a quick U-turn. Very nice. Is it even possible to accelerate something to faster than the accelerator is going? Like... Okay, so like, if I put Earth here... This is an interesting question. I mean, yes, it, it is, but from from zero? <sighs> because if I put... If I put Earth, like, here, in this black hole, like, here, and I put the black hole onto inverted gravity, I mean, we can accelerate Earth quite fast. It'll, uh... Oh, I forgot to invert it. Whoops. Bye, Earth. No, I did invert it. So why did Earth disappear? Was it just within? I think I may have put it a little bit too close. Here we go. Earth. Wait, where did it go? <laughs> what happened? I'm really confused. It just absolutely... It didn't eat it. It went in the other direction. I saw it get up to like an insane speed as well. 
Earth? Whoa, whoa, what's going on, man? <laughs> Why do you keep running away from me? Okay, it turned down the speed a lot so that we can actually see what's going on here. All right, so Earth gets sped up very, very quickly. 1% of light speed, 5% of light speed. I mean, being pushed out away from a black hole is actually a pretty effective... No, once it hits 20% of light speed, Earth just explodes. Well, that's unfortunate. Jeez. I guess we'll try it with the sun. The sun is probably a little bit more capable. But you can't accelerate the sun. Wait, in the same. Oh, there we go. That one doesn't seem to be disappearing. Got it up to 0 0.3. As it gets further away from the black hole, though, the... Oh, it did it again. I get... Maybe there's just a maximum speed things can go now before they explode. Um, interesting. <laughs> didn't, didn't realize. It's very nice. Seems kind of odd, but, you know, the... This is how it goes. <laughs> well, um, exotic matter black holes, everyone. They, they seem to have some interesting properties. Let me know what you managed to do with them in the comments below. I'm gonna go eat one very quickly because I'm hungry. Goodbye. <laughs> My god. Wow, thank you for watching and supporting. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time. Lots of, lots of videos coming. I mean, there's been over like a thousand so far. How many have there been? A lot. I know, I know I've made a lot. Too many. But, uh, there will be more. Because we can't stop. Won't stop. Game stop. Oh, wait, no, this isn't. Wall Street bets. I'm sorry. Thank you.